Hi, this is Renee from I Teach Blogging, and in today's video, I am going to show you how to add a link to some text inside of Thrive Content Builder. So the first thing you're going to want to do is pull up the link that you want to link to. So I have that as a control C, I am copying this link right here, and I use control C on my keyboard, but you could also just do right click copy. Then you go back to the page, and if you can notice, I have Thrive Content Builder open. You know that because you see over here on the right. So right here, it says, I'm your advocate in the blogging space. If you need tools and strategies and simple, basic terms and tutorials, you can find them here. Um, and I'm going to link right here. I'm just, I just, all I did was, let me pull out of this again. All I did was left mouse select in front of the text that I want to link. Then I highlight the text. And then up here where it says search or type URL. I'm clicking inside of that. I'm hitting control V on my keyboard and I'm going to say open in new window. That means that it will just open in a new window, but I don't really want that in this case, but I could, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it for there. And then you click on insert. And now we know it's a link because it underlined it. We hit save changes. All right. I'm going to preview the page and I see the content right here. It's underlined. If I select on that, it will open it in a new window, just like I said, and it opened it up straight to that particular blog post that I wanted to feature. So that is how you add a link inside of Thrive Content Builder to some text. If I wanted to add a link to an image, such as my iTunes image right here, I would put my mouse over the image, left mouse click. Let me show you that again. Select on the link icon. Wait for it to pop up, control V, say open a new window, no follow or do follow, that's totally up to you. Hit save, then I would hit save. And that would be linked. Now that was my iTunes icon, so clearly that was a bad idea. So I'm just gonna say, oh, I really messed that up. I'm gonna select on, the win on that again. I'm gonna sit, click on the break link icon. And now the link is gone. So I can hit save changes again. And that is how you add a link inside of Thrive Content Builder to some text or an image. All right, blog on.